Hi guys, today I'm working on my 496 mag. I'm having an issue with fouling plugs and a little bit of an issue with uh, trouble idling. Um, I'm going to be replacing the IAC, uh, which I will leave the part number in the bottom. So if you guys need this, you can go to your nearest Napa Auto Parts rather than spending $200 at Merc Cruiser. Um, I'll also be replacing the IAC muffler. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and put a new k &N spark arrestor on it. Um, a lot of people do wash the ones that they have and that's certainly fine. There's no proof that the k &N makes any more horsepower than what you have. I just prefer a k &N and I like the way it looks and I know I can wash it occasionally and be fine with it. I run them on every single vehicle that I have so um, why change now? Alright guys, here we go. With this cover here, I've already gotten it pre-loosened. They're Torx Bits 25. There's three of them, two in the back, one in the front. Pick that up and put it out of the way. Okay, so for the maintenance now, we're gonna go ahead and remove this. To save time, I went ahead and loosened it up so we could take it off. This is a Mercruiser. Um, spark arrestor and it to remove it it takes a 3 8 uh, deep well socket to remove that and that's it um, with this particular boat I had just bought it about six months ago and looking in here is where the IAC muffler should have been I don't know if you could see it or not right here that's where the IAC muffler should have been so there was no muffler in that one, and that's probably part of my problem. However, so I don't have any problems on the lake, um, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall one. This is the part number. Hopefully you guys could see it. I bought that on Amazon. You could buy one too. They're like $7. All you do is you take it out. It's a little piece of, um, like, I don't know, fiberglass or spongy little material. Put it with some pliers and install it. it goes right there that's all you do for that now I'm going to be installing my can in uh, like I said you don't have to install one of these I just happen to like can in and I like the way it looks um, there's no horsepower uh, ratings that this is supposed to gain or anything like that um, I just you know can in as a household name and I really like what they uh, do so I'm gonna go ahead and install it and all this really takes is a flathead screwdriver on the back tighten it up and we'll move on to the AIC or IAC go ahead okay and for the end of this three-part combo it's um, good idea to also change the AIC or IAC I keep calling it AIC uh, that regulates your airflow, and um, that's a common problem with the 496s. Uh, its location is back here. So I think you can see that right there. Um, it's got a plug on this side right here that we have to unplug. And then two Allen bolts, and that's it. We'll take it off. The... Uh, Allen size on that is a 3 16 Allen. I'm going to go ahead and take it off and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, now we've removed the IAC and right away, this being the new one, you could see that there is a spring that's visible and there's also a hole here to let air in. So at idle, I believe this goes up and down, this pin goes up and down. And if you look at this one, it's closed it has no port you know it hasn't been moving and that has the exhaust in there and I believe that was my problem so new one old one now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the other one I'm not gonna take a big video of it but we will let you know that what it looks like without it, it looks like that if you can see that it's kind of difficult to see we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it right there and that should take care of our problems. 
All right, guys, so now I've reinstalled the A, the IAC, and I want you guys to be careful that you don't drop any bolts. I did drop one of the bolts, and it cost me about five, 10 minutes to find the bolt and get it back up, but here's the finished product of the IAC. As you can see, it just bolts two bolts, and it has one plug. And that's it, that's what controls your air into the intake. And my new Can-Am filter, I did strictly for, because I like Can-Am. Um, again, everybody says that they don't have any horsepower rating or don't add any horsepower, so don't expect any if you do put one on. So, I'm gonna put the top on and that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. We're trying to get a jet ski for my little boy. And if we could reach a thousand viewers and start monetizing, then